Hello and welcome to The Rooftop TV. My name's Simon Francis and I'm the editor of The Rooftop and uh, your usual host Tom York is taking a well-deserved break this week. So you've got me giving you a rundown of three of the best positive news stories that we've been featuring on The Rooftop in the last seven days. So three great stories and the first one is a campaign by um, a group of trade unions and uh, royal colleges to campaign for better rights and conditions for NHS staff who've been doing such an amazing job during the coronavirus outbreak. But it may surprise you to know that not all of them were being paid for every hour that they worked um, because there were some discrepancies in, in overtime and procedures between different trusts, uh, NHS trusts around the country. Well, the trade unions and the royal colleges came together and campaigned stop that and now it's great to see that the campaign has been successful and now NHS staff in England are going to be paid for all hours work so well done to Unison and the other trade unions involved in, in that campaign. Second uh, story I wanted to bring you is an update on the story that we published on Monday um, about the Manchester United um, girls squad who've been raising money for their coach who has been sadly diagnosed with Huntington's disease um, now, Huntington's disease is uh, described as being like uh, motor neurone disease, um, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's and schizophrenia all rolled into one. So truly um, terrible um, disease. And um, the, um, the girls at, at Manchester United squad have been running, cycling and walking to, to raise money um, for, uh, to find a, a cure and um, treatments for, um, for the disease. Um, well, in two weeks, um, they've so far uh, managed to run, cycle, and walk 464 miles between them, uh, raising over £7,000 um, to find a, a research into um, Huntington's disease. So a really great effort for them. And if you want to continue to donate, uh, you can do. Uh, the details on how to do that are in the story on the website this week. Finally, I wanted to bring you news of a new organisation that's launched this week. Um, obviously now with masks being uh, mandatory on many public transport networks right across the country, um, there's going to be a growth in demand for, for, these, uh, for these masks. And Free Masketeers um, has set up as, a, as a, almost like a social enterprise um, to help not only um, people get hold of masks, but also then donate some to charities and those who are in need. So for every hundred masks or, or ordered through free market, free masketeers um, for, by a business, 20 will be donated to um, charities that, that need them the most. Um, they're not the only ones that are doing something similar. Uh, up in Edinburgh, uh, Freya Fashion um, are donating a percentage of the profits of the masks that they sell in, uh, in the green of um, Hibernian Football Club um, to the Hibernian Community Foundation that's been doing some amazing work um, uh, keeping in touch with vulnerable and isolated communities in the city during the um, coronavirus outbreak so if you are buying a mask for public transport um, think about how you can buy one that has a positive social impact as well so they're the three stories that we wanted to talk about this week and uh, obviously we're always on the lookout uh, for more stories um, from from you um, for viewers um, so please do keep them coming to uh, editor at the rooftop news that's editor at the rooftop news and while we can't feature every single one of them we do certainly read them all and keep them on record. Um, so that's all we've got time for this week. We'll be back again with another roundup of good news worth shouting about on Rooftop TV next week.